Hi, Divine Feminine. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Your overall energy is what goes around comes around. Okay, so whatever you have been putting the time, energy, and effort into Divine Feminine, it's coming back around for you. You know, it's kind of like that ride is coming back around to, to scoop you up or to pick you up. You may have thought that, you know, the Uber or the Lyft, you know, passed your house and it's like, dang, they lost. Like, where they at? They going in circles. No, they got, they getting to you. They coming to you. Even if they're a little lost, even if they're a little confused, whatever you want. It may not, it may have, you know, taken a while to come to you or whatever the case. You may have thought like, dang, am I doing something wrong? Did I not plant the right seeds? Did I not go to the right place? Am I not connecting to the right people? Or you may be questioning things, but Spirit is saying, baby, even if it's lost, it's still rerouting and it has no choice. It's assigned to you. It's, it has to be delivered to you, Divine Feminine. So it's coming to you. Even if it's quote unquote late, it's arriving at your front door still. It's still going to make it to you. It's still coming your way. You may have felt like, dang, like my, my whole life has been shitty. Well, baby, not no more because you have been speaking positive energy out into the universe. You have been giving. Spirit sees all the journal work that you've been doing. Spirit sees all the uh, self-esteem work you've been doing, the confidence work you've been doing. Every single day, Spirit sees how you've been putting into your business, how you've been pouring into yourself, how you've been pouring into your children, how you've been pouring into your relationships and your household. And Spirit says, baby, all of that energy that you have been putting out, it's coming back around to you. It cannot miss you. It has your name on it. It has your address on it. It is a sign for you. It's not for nobody else. It is for you. So the question is, are you ready to receive it? Because it's here for you. It's ready for you. And at the bottom of the deck, easy does it, baby. This is giving me soft life energy. You about to be waking up and manifesting. Waking up and manifesting. Not a care in the world. You just at ease. Everything is taken care of for you. If there's any challenges that may even think about arising, you like, uh-uh, snap of a finger. It's taken care of, baby. You like, my, my daddy don't play about me. My mama don't play about me. Mother, Father, God does not play about me. I am royal. I am a part of the kingdom. What type of problem you think about to come up my way? None. Get rid of that. It's taken care of. Security. Security. It's taken care of for you. Whatever you need, it's taken care of for you. The problem is many of you guys have been so traumatized with your relationships even from a young age that you guys just don't feel like anybody is there for you. So since you feel like people aren't there for you and people have disappointed you, you feel like God is doing the same thing. You feel like, well, if people don't want me, then God don't want me. You're basing your relationship with God. You're basing your faith within, in the universe and spirit in your ancestors or whatever you believe in. The combination of them all because it's all of them. It's all one. The creator, the most high you are you've separated yourself from from most high from the universe thinking that the universe doesn't have your back because this human over here they're mortal you get what i'm saying so what they don't care about you so what they wasn't there for you so what they didn't show up for you i know it hurt you I know it bothered you. I know that relationship was supposed to last. I know your marriage was supposed to last. I know your sister wasn't supposed to betray you like that. I know your brother wasn't supposed to do you dirty like that. People that you never expected. But here you are, still here, still shining. And now... It used to be so hard. It used to be so rough. It used to be so everything is going awry. And, and it's like, woo, that's too much negative energy. You can't even think or even, you, you don't even think on that level anymore. You too high vibrational. You like, ooh, you smell drama a million miles away and you block it so it doesn't even reach you. You're in this easy does it. You wake and bake. You do what you want to do. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, some of you guys are actual bakers. Some of you guys are smokers. You guys get up and cook for your family. You run in your household. Everything exactly how you want it. But it was rough at first. But you still push through. 
you still push through go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and book your personal readings down below get on the phone with your girl call me now call me Okay, book your appointment to get on the phone with me so I can chop it up with you and give you your reading and give you the, the specific messages that are meant for you. Because this is general, baby, even though it, I know it's resonating with you, but there's a specific message that is for you, that spirit has for you, that God has for you. So book your phone appointment or your other type of readings or your coaching down below so you can be the best version of yourself, Divine Feminine. Have you told yourself you loved yourself? Have you looked in the mirror today? Or did you just wake up worried and stressing and, and like, dang, I'm going to pay this or I'm going to do that? Did you even stop to give yourself the time of day? You invested in your children? You invested in your spouse or your lover? You sent good morning texts to everybody else, but you ain't even give yourself no energy? You ain't gave yourself no energy today? You didn't give yourself no hug? You hugged your kids, but you didn't hug yourself. You hugged your partner, but you didn't hug yourself. You 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 stressing this stuff, but yet you sending good texts to everybody. You sending positive texts to make sure everybody else around you is good. But while you silently at home suffering, no, that's not how that go. You're too high vibrational. The goddesses that I run with, the goddesses that I'm talking to, you rebuking all of that negative stuff. As soon as you wake up, and you sense that there's some type of form of anxiety. The spirit of anxiety is trying to take over you. The spirit of trying to remind you of yesterday's past. Of what was yesterday. Bitch, we in today. Maybe yesterday I didn't know how I was going to do this or that. But today, you're not going to overtake me. Today, I'm positive. You're nipping it in the bud as soon as you wake up. Because that's where it starts. You're doing the manifestation work. You're easy does it. You're waking up and doing whatever you want to do because you're focused on your spirituality. You're connected with spirit. You're connected with your ancestors. You're connected with Mother, Father, God. You're meditating. You're praying. You're hugging trees. You're outside in the sunlight, in the moonlight, under the stars. You're into astrology. You're into tarot. You don't give a about what anybody says about who you are and what you do and what you dress like, what your makeup look like, what your hair look like, what your shoes look like, what you smell like. You like this scent, so wear it. Other people may not like it. Well, that's a problem. Why do you care about other people's opinions? Stop worrying about other people's opinions. We're not people pleasers. You're a star here. You could be an Aquarius as well. Well, let's see what other energy is surrounding this. Okay, we're going to jump right on into the tarot. Look, Aquarius, you're for sure an Aquarius. I picked the deck up and this is what we got here. Baby, I'm a star. Do y'all see this? You're a star. You're literally a star. You're in the spotlight. People see you. Other stars around you, they see what you're doing too. They're like, oh, snaps. All the other stars are hyping you up saying, yeah, it's your time. It's you. You go, 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 go. They've had their time. They're still living in the remnants of their time though. So they, other stars, you're around other stars. You could be around other celebrities. And I see them hyping you up. You could meet one person and then one person knows this person and then this person invites you to this event and then boom, you're in the midst of being around celebrities or high value people or people that are very um, high vibrational, worthy, classy, classic. Their, their energy matches yours. You belong there. You don't belong in the negative energy. You don't belong in the low vibrational energy. You don't belong in the ghetto. You don't belong in the hood. You don't belong with all of that type of energy. You're too good. You're the one that made it out because you did the work. Yes, you are special. Yes, you deserve a hand clap. Clap for your damn self. Because you did that. You put in the work. Even if God was whispering to you, you still had to do the work that God was whispering for you to do. So you did that. Give yourself a clap on the back. Everybody like to down people who give themselves a clap on the back. Well, it wasn't you that did it. It was God. Well, bitch, God told me what to fucking do and I did it. So it's me. I get the hand clap. Don't try to take that away from me. You get what I'm saying? Because so many people, God is talking to so many people and they ain't listening. Their intuition is blaring at them and they're not listening. You listened. 
And that's exactly why you are where you are. So don't feel bad. Don't let anybody else try to knock you off your pivot. You're a star. And you're around other people who support you. You're around people who, who love on you. Who connect with you. Who are also stars. Yeah. But let's see what actually comes out here. Great spirit. What messages do you have? Okay. I'm telling you. You partying. You having fun. You waking up and doing what you want to do is what I'm seeing. You guys are free because you have the time to do whatever you want. God has freed you. God has allowed you to wake up and literally do what you want to do. Whether you have you have all the finances to do so, even if you feel like, dang, I don't have the money to do so, you still see God is allowing you to have the freedom of your time. Because you can have all the money in the world, but you still don't have the freedom of your time to do what you want, when you want. There, you, you get what I'm saying? There's still some type of restriction there. Not with you. Yes, you guys may have obligations to be there for your children and to, you know, you guys are spouses or whatever. That I'm not talking about. That's part of you doing what you want to do. 11-11 on the phone. I'm talking about you're not obligated to go to no job. You're not obligated to do to, to live under anybody else's influence on what they say. You can make the decisions. You, I mean, you have true freedom here. You're socializing. You're hanging with people who match your energy here. You, you, it's like this is giving me fall festival type of energy. You guys could be dropping your kids off at school. A lot of things are happening in the fall time. A lot of energy is cultivating in the fall. Hearth energy warm energy home energy you guys are getting your home together you guys are celebrating with friends texting your friends socializing with your friends going out drinking with your friends partying and socializing with your friends king of wands here yeah you guys are in your power while you're out and about there could be a king of wands that you run into or that you see or something like that but you're just in your power here i'm telling you whatever's coming back around is it has you celebrating it has you happy it has you joyous Let's go, Divine Feminine. Yes, Page of Pentacles. Manifesting. Whoop. Did y'all... I don't know if y'all just kind of... That was kind of trippy how that all happened. You're definitely manifesting a new social group. You're manifesting a new group of friends. Maybe the type of people that you were around before, they didn't wish you well. Maybe you thought that they were cool. They could have even been the coolest people. But it's like, uh, it's still just all. Do not settle. Don't be afraid to let people go when they don't match your energy. Even if they have not done anything wrong. Even if they're the sweetest, kindest person. There could be sweet people all around you, but the, that, that does not mean that they are assigned to you. That does not mean that they have a reason to be in your life for a long purpose, for a long period of time. Maybe that person was only in your life to show you that, they are, that you're a reflection of them and that's it. But with this devil energy here, it's like there's some type of toxicity or some type of obsession with you. We have the seven of cups here. You have a lot of options here. It's like, hmm, do I want this today? Do I want to hang out with this person today? What do I want with this? Or what do I want with that? Some of you guys could be overcoming some type of confusion, having too many options and trying to really figure out the direction that you wanted to go in or something. I do see that here, but I see that also clearing up for you. Pay attention to which cup you use, that you choose, pay it, or that you use. Some of you guys could be in a house where you're using other people's cups or something. So pay attention to who you're drinking after as well. When you go out to hang out and party, make sure that you cover your drink or that you take your drink with you. But yeah, I definitely see you having a lot of options. I also see you walking away from confusion. I see you choosing something and walking away from the rest. Or maybe you're walking away from it all. It's like, you know what? None of these cups satisfy me. What's the seven of cups? But again, I also see you having all the tools that you need to manifest whatever you need from exactly where you are. You may feel like you have nothing, but you're still manifesting everything. Okay? Something about your home and your foundation. What's the seven of cups? You could be confused about a relationship. You may feel like your prayers are not being heard, like you're connecting with spirit, but it's like you could fit, may feel like you're asking God for too much. You can never ask God for too much. Everything that you want, you deserve it. Some of you guys are praying small prayers, and that's why you're not having them answered because your prayers are too small. God, please just get me out of this situation like you're just some type of orphan or something. And maybe you feel that way. But God says, baby, 
I'm going to get you. I can do more than just get you out the situation. I can get you out the situation and I can bring you this and I can do this and I can do that. But all you're asking for is this. You know what? I'm going to let you stay there until you realize you deserve more. That's how it's going for some of you guys. The type of relationships that you're choosing to be in. feel like, you know what? They deserve to sit in that relationship. Because they need to learn some lessons. I don't need to bring them nobody else. I'm going to just let them stay in this relationship and let them see how this person does them. Let them awaken up. Choose wisely who you're connecting with. Yeah, there could be some type of secrets holding back something. You could be staying to yourself or something. But I see you being out and about. But there could be some type of secret or something being held back. Or it's something about a relationship. Somebody could be choosing you in a relationship or a connection here as well. You're choosing what you want. You're choosing who you want to connect with. You're choosing your prayers. You're choosing the words that you speak very... Because this is about communication and choices. You're communicating. This is Gemini energy. So it's communication here. This is also... Um, Choices. What do you choose? The number two is choices. The lovers is two people, you and another person. That's choices. That's two people, a choice. You're paying attention. Choices, choices. What choices are you making? Let's get one more for this seven of cups and this lovers. I'm hearing choosy lovers by Aaliyah. Look, somebody could be, you know, in a pause situation. Somebody could have had a heartbreak. So you're choosing better now. Yeah, because what you put out is what you're going to get back. Yeah, you could have been upset or regretful, but I feel like somebody is regretful over you. Somebody is regretful that you're single, that they let you go. Yeah, because they cause a lot of malice, but you were really the star. Let's get one. Okay, because you're the empress. I'm telling you, there's a relationship here. There's a relationship here. So some of you guys are getting into a relationship. You guys have asked for a relationship, and it's coming back around. It's clear here. We not only got the lovers, but we have the lovers and the two of cups. And the empress to say, hey, baby, you deserve this. You're divine feminine. You deserve this. Hello. This is you, divine feminine. Beautiful, gorgeous. You doing your mirror work, right? Right? Okay. I thought you were. You looking at yourself, you looking yourself in the mirror telling you how beautiful you are. You looking yourself in the mirror telling you how rich you are. You're breaking limitations by looking you in the eye, by being real with yourself, by speaking positive. You're actually speaking out loud to yourself in the mirror, not just thinking it, but you're speaking it. You're feeding yourself the positive energy and the positive words. There's definitely a connection here. Somebody sees you as an empress and somebody's choosing you. Somebody wants to party with you. Somebody wants to connect with you. Somebody wants to have fun with you. Or this is the type of energy you're coming into. Yeah, because you've been work, 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 work. You've been focused on work. You may not even see this happening. Let's get one more for this what goes around comes around. And then we're going to get ready to close this out. You guys can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, you guys can also book your coaching down below. All right, and you guys can book your readings down below. The King of Swords, so heart over, um, head over heart decisions. Look at this. Then I say twos, choices, choices, choices. You have to choose to be happy. You have to choose to go for the money. You have to choose your stability. You have to put in that work. You're happy. You, you have a wish fulfillment here. I'm telling you, there's a wish fulfillment here because you're manifesting. You, this is what you've manifested here, Divine Feminine. You have to make this choice to be happy. Stop being, stop blocking whatever it is you're blocking. Don't be the own block in your own way. Don't block your own happiness. Choose happiness. You have to choose happiness. You have to wake up and say, hey, I'm going to be happy. Hey, despite what's going on around me, I'm going to push through. And ain't no, my, ain't no motherfucker on this earth go stop me spiritually mentally physically ain't nothing gonna stop me because nobody has power or, or control over me but me motherfuckers want to have control over other people because they don't have control over themselves so they turn it outward and try to control everybody else instead of trying to control themselves and that's where they make their biggest mistake it's like i see there's this king of pentacles is here in your energy 
This could be work, money, a job here. This could be you getting to the bag, you getting to the money, you being in your purpose, and it's making you happy that you're finally getting your own money. You getting your own money, and it's making you happy. It's like a windfall of money here. It's like a, a whirlwind. I shouldn't say a windfall, but I should say a whirlwind. You get what I'm saying? It may not just be a lump sum, but it's money constantly flowing to you. That's what you want. You can maybe manifest money one time from an insurance claim or a lottery win or whatever the case may be, right? Somebody wants to invest in you and gift you a large amount of money. Okay, but can you do that again? And can you do it again? Whatever you're doing, you're in the energy of where money is flowing to you. It's just finding you. It's like, oh, dang, I didn't know this person was going to cash at me. Oh, I didn't know this person was going to PayPal me. Oh, I didn't know this person was going to get my services. Your business is doing well. I feel like you just have an overflow of money that's flowing into you. You tap into the, your money well, to your gift, or you're headed in that the right direction. This could also be a person, a male energy that is coming towards you, that wants to be stable with you, that wants to provide for you. Yeah, that's what I see here, okay? So we're going to get ready to close this reading out. I'm going to get um, a message, um, an oracle, choice. Your name could be choice, but again, something about choices. You have to make, it's something about the choices you're making. Make sure that you're making the best choices. If you feel like you're not, then you got to make better choices. Because it's the choices that separate you from everybody else. It's the choices that separate you from the life that you're living and the life that you desire. What do you cho choose to do? Bravery. You got to be brave to make this change. Release. You may need to release something so you can change. But yeah, you got to be bravery. This this change is here whether you like it or not. Spirit is just calling you to be brave in the midst of this 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 change. I, I was going to say in the midst of the storm. So maybe some of you guys feel like you're in a storm. Okay. But even if you feel that way, just know that everything is working out in your favor. Continue to be brave and weather whatever storm you feel you're going through. And know that you are God. You are the goddess. You are in control of the storm. The storm is not in control of you. So change your perspective. Change the way that you're thinking. And trust and know that everything is working out in your favor. Comment down below the affirmation. Why does every, why is everything always working in my favor? Everything is always working in, in your favor. The universe is always working in your favor, divine feminine, beautiful lady. So these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping into me. You guys can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and you guys can book your phone readings and your coaching down below in the description bar. And baby, I will see y'all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla Latrice. Peace.